Whew. Alrighty, it is hot and very, very windy. But, ta da! We got our chicken coop. Finally finished building it, finished roofing it today. We've got the four little hen boxes. There's, sorry, there's icky stuff all in it because, like I said, construction. And then I got two windows in the front. And then in the back, you'll see there's another window. All of them are with hinges, you know, to just kind of wiggle a little and close as I'm not showing you at all. Here we go. So that closes at night. Leave it open because, again, it is quite hot. This is, I need to buy one more hinge for this because this is their, you know, get into the coop thing. But it doesn't have the hinge. This is the door which there was some talk about an automatic door, which was just silly, like a solar door. Okay, I don't need that for chickens. But here we are, the inside. So we have four nesting boxes, little roosts and stuff, and then the floor. I need to paint or laminate the floor somehow, which will probably happen later. But my chicken coop is done. It's right up against the shed that they are currently in, right next to my little workspace. So an update on that, update on the tree, bunch of nothing, haven't done much with that because hand hatcheting stinks and we don't have power tools right now. An update on the Amazon purchase, these have survived crazy windstorms. The worst that's happened so far is, as you can see, this side came off, but everything on it is still okay. Don't have any pinto, kale, lavender, honeydew melon, or napa cabbage blooming just, or uh, sprouting just yet, but this tomato plant fell, still looking okay. Sorry, these guys, I'm sure that you're not supposed to water it, you know, 4 p.m., which is the heat of the day, but when your plants are bone dry and wilting, I got weak. My stuff over here, and then this stuff over here with my little ochre plants looking great in these. These looking a little less great because again I need to water these more often. I thought greenhouses meant you didn't have to water quite as often and to some extent that is true but also they still need a lot of water. Ochre plants over here doing great. Just kind of picking off the super yellow leaves. And also I don't know if they like being wet or not. I'm just in the habit after tomato plants which don't like water all over their uh, they are not huge fans of water all over their leaves. Potato plants are doing well. I think this is a potato actually, which would be cool. My corn has sprouted. I've got a couple corns in this one, this one, that one. Actually, everybody has sprouted over here. Cilantro, cilantro. I don't know if that's actually cilantro or not. I just put it because these two were. Tomato babies still growing, still doing great. Tomato baby not doing great. And I can't remember what these were. I think these three have passed away or failed to thrive or however you would equate that with plants. Woo, it is hot. Three days ago it was 60 degrees and today it's 90 something with like 60 or 70% humidity and high wind. It stinks. Just shoveled out the chicken coop again or chicken box, whatever. The box got scooped out again swept in here because it was I mean people who have chickens know that they get gross here are the girls hey baby girls okay so I one of the people who helped me with the coop today who is a longtime family friend who's older than my parents and damn near as old as my grandparent and hey, Goldie that's my Goldie over there I've started to name them because that one's, that one's shooby doo -wah. That one's the sun's bird. Oh wait, that's not Goldie. That's Goldie. That one is uh, Princess over there. The Rhode Island right over there. That's Queenie, which everybody knows. Then Blue and Gimpy. I haven't named my Silver Lace yet. He's so pretty. I don't know if it's he or not. I have figured out. Oh, that trick. Sorry, I'm distractible. So they said that if you hold a chicken upside down, like by the legs, if it struggles, it's a rooster, and if it just sits there, it's a hen. I think these girls are still a little too young for that, but um, I'm pretty sure, let's see, where are, there's one of them. 
That Easter egg right here is so stinking pretty. There's one and here's one. I'm pretty sure that this one's my boy. This one right here. And that one's my girl. Sorry, I have this open because I have the door open. Because it's really stinking hot and stuffy in here. And they're almost a month old. These, not the little ones. The little ones are still these three. Uh, that one right there. And one other one. Oh, actually, the little leghorns. So that one and that girl over there. Those two. They are not quite a month old yet. The other girls are close to it. And man, chicken growth is fast. Like, this little Easter egger, she's not little at all anymore. She's my biggest girl. My biggest girl is an Easter egger. She's got second most attitude, I'd say. The leghorn, the bigger leghorns have developed the most personality. I've started to hand feed them because I didn't think picking them up was a good idea in terms of like humanizing them, not humanizing them, socializing them with humans, whatever. Yep, that's pretty sure my boy. Pretty sure that's a boy. But anyway, I know that you won't know yet because they're still not even quite seen them. Maybe like my Bardrocks are getting friendlier. That's a gold lace she's picking on right now. It's funny that she's she'll let her do that. The gold lace lets the bard rock do that because when she finally gets tired of it, she'll pick her right back and send that bard rock running. It's so funny to watch. But yeah, it is quite hot. You can see that they're kind of miserable. I'm miserable. I'm sweating like a sinner in church. They're grooming. They're losing their puffy feathers. They're getting actual feathers. Like, I'm sad because Blue's going to get regular butt feathers instead of the, like, cute down on their butts and tails. But yeah, chicken girls are doing great. Chicken boy, potentially, still doing great. I have a few questions because everything but the e couple of the Easter eggers and the wine dots were not sexed either. And I know that's, you know, I think I've said it before, that's only like a 95-ish percent chance of correctness anyway. But we'll see. Oh, 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 he's finally getting some tail feathers. That happened as of like last night. He's finally grown them. Blue still has like nothing going on, but she's doing well. I don't know. They're fun. Lots of updates today. Like I said, chickens are almost a month old. Our friend who is going to be giving us or selling us, I'm not sure yet. Not totally sure. Either way, we're getting them. We're going to buy them. But we're going to go get those five between four and six new chicks as well because some of these, if we have too many roosters, uh, a rooster is going to hit the dinner table first. But yeah, so far everybody's doing well. We're starting with uh, designs on how to contain them in the yard because we have really unfriendly neighbor dogs that let their dogs into our yard. Like no amount of pleading with our neighbors has stopped them. They've broken our gate, <laughs> dug under it. It's super fun. It's made me start to dislike dogs a little bit when people can't control them and it's my baby it's like no my baby can't shit in your yard so let's not call them babies they're your family but different but yeah not looking forward to the first day that that happens they'll be very upset but yeah trying to figure out something to prevent any kind of weirdness with the neighbors which would be great but until then we have a box and we have our chicken coop and we'll figure out the next step from there. This is super exciting. I feel like another milestone has been reached. I've got my garden, got my chickens, and it's like made it real because I've got my chicken coop. Which is right by my window because that's my office. Which would be super nice to just look out and say, hey chickens, chickens are out. Because we might just, you know, run, let them run in this area. I don't know. I'd like them to be full yard. That'd be pretty cool. I think I already mentioned we got our compost bin started. We finished our fire pit. Took forever. That like digging is hard, especially when most of your yard is, yard is rock. We'll be chopping some stuff down because, as of 30 minutes ago, we have a borrowed power tool, which is very nice. But yes, yeah, so there's our update. Super fun. Super good. Uh, still completely and totally lost on how I'm doing this, but I've been taking notes. So if this doesn't work next year, I'll, like, I can just go back and read my notes and go, well, that didn't work. Or I guess just watch these videos of myself, whichever. But yeah, update complete.